Check that out. Oh yeah. Ooh, the bird's nest. Yeah, you see that? I got some worms. I'm Chris Thorne, and this is the seven day, $100 Walmart survival challenge. In this challenge, there's only one rule. Take your limited kit and do what you gotta do to make it out the other side. Good morning, everybody. This emergency tube tent sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm warmer. I'm pretty warm, I'm okay. It's just I'm pretty sure my leg fell asleep like six times last night. <laughs> well, okay, so there's all my stuff in the tent. Uh, but uh, I really, I got pecans yesterday, which is really cool, but I need to see if I can rig something up today <sighs> and uh, get lucky to uh, work on trying to catch some catfish or something. Time to get going. Telling you, five star hotel in that thing, man. You wish you were in there. Oh. Oh. Well, I slept like a brick. It is it is warm in there, but it is not comfortable. Oh. But uh Like I said, I've got for anybody who's been watching from the beginning, if you haven't, I don't know where you've been. But we have a full playlist. We've got episode one, two, and three. Uh, this is episode four or day three of the seven day $100 Walmart survival challenge. Hopefully we can get ourselves like today or tomorrow or the next day even, at least one catfish, bass, something, anything. I'd love a catfish though. Catfish would be ideal. I got all my gear, ready to rock and roll. Let's pray. The fish are hungry, cause I'm hungry. And I would love, love, just somewhere in the next three days, some catfish. is mostly intact I like it alrighty so here's the dilemma I've got a $100 survival kit I have line and I got a hook which is good for just super generic base 
fishing, my downside is I don't have any bait or lures or nothing, nothing at all. So what I was thinking, and I think I said it in day one, is I can go and dig around for you know worms, grubs, things like that. Yet another problem, I don't have a shovel. So I need to find a stick or something, but I figured down here in this area by the creek where everything is, it would give me my absolute best shot to um, actually score some points and get lucky. I figured this, the, the wettest, most fertile soil would be the best area. Be gone, Satan! Ugh. What the hell? What the hell is that doing? Must be from all the freaking flooding. What the fuck? Look at that! It's like a bone. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, you guys gotta check this out. Check that out. Isn't that freaking cool? I was looking for a stick and I found a sh scraper. <laughs> Looks like it's a like a, a rib, a rib bone of a big animal. Um, there are a crap ton of um, farms around here, and this uh, river slash creek, whatever, floods a lot, so. This could have been from a dead creature and been dead a while and the water's finally um, flooded enough to send it down here and I wonder if there's any more. Oh, I gotta go look later. Hey, that's cool. So I'm looking for bait of some type. But I'm also looking for weights, and I think rocks will do the trick. I'm looking for these kind of roundedish ones, but some jagged ones that'll hopefully hold. Oh, that's crumbling. Uh, not a good rock. Okay. Yeah, so looking for weights and baits. <laughs> Ooh, here you go. That's a good rock, as always. Maybe. Ooh, that one's kind of funky. I'm looking for funky shapes, so hopefully if I tie knots and stuff around them, it'll be a little easier. Is that something? Oh my god, that's a worm. <laughs> it's a good sign, but it's like an inchworm. I gotta let that guy go. I don't need you, buddy. Oh, hey. Here you go. I'm getting something. Hell yeah! Woo! It ain't much, but it's something. Ooh, I see deer tracks back here. Why the hell would deer be back here? I didn't even think they'd come somewhere like this. Maybe that's hog track and it's just like halfway removed. 
which would make more sense because hogs are crazy and they're stupid. Not to mention a little dangerous. Like this freaking slippery ass hill clay side that I can't get through. This is probably the most graceful you've seen me. Here. Yeah, you see that? I got some worms. Oh yeah, hope is kindled. Very Lord of the Rings, huh? <laughs> I got my rocks and my worms. Sit you down here. Ka plunk on my feet. The fishing line of hope. <laughs> oh man. Hope this doesn't get too tangled. Me and Cordage have a long history of entangulation. Alright, so where I'm at on this situation right now is I've got the weight, uh, the rock basically. Now I'm working on the line for the hook before I attach the worms. Or worm. You know, without proper fishing equipment, this is a lot of work. But it's fun though, it's really cool that I, I can figure this out. If anybody is wondering, um, I don't know a whole lot of knots, so I'm using fisherman's knots and uh, overhand knots. And with the overhand knots, a lot of them. There's a little saying that uh, some of my uh, country folk buddies told me is, if you don't know a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> so, so far it hasn't failed me yet. So I got the worm on the hook. Here's the open. This is the only bait I got. Alright, now let me go ahead and go to a bell attached to this thing. Bell is set. It's in the water. So, for reference, we did get a little bit of a nibble on the first line. So, hopefully, something catches. While we're out here, oh, this line's tangled. I'm going to have to go back to camp and undiscombobulate this. I might cut it down into more manageable sections because I got a lot of cordage but it's all all messed up. <sighs> well 
<laughs> Here's a got a shovel. <laughs> this is not a shovel, but it'll definitely work in a pinch. Uh, getting creative is fun in its own way, but it's it kind of sucks. I mean, the ideal situation is you bring gear, but you know how to adapt. I get it. That's what the whole spectrum of survival is. Still got water, which is good. That's nothing. Speaking of which, I'm really thirsty. Mmm. So we're just holding up really well. We got firewood earlier today. It was like the first thing we did. Well, I got a little bit of time before the sun goes down. Um, I can, I'm gonna wait for a bell to ring. That's the whole point of getting those bells to put on the fishing line. But um, I guess we can uh, try to forage some more and see if we can squirrel away some more uh, pecans or something. Um, we got firewood. I mean, other than that, I can just kind of be a relaxed day. But I still want to keep going after calories as much as I can. So, yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna keep going for food. I gotta dig into an L, so that'll be fun. Where I got lucky yesterday. Can't hurt to keep looking. Ooh, got one. Jackpot! Ha ha! Woo woo! Ha ha! Another one. Another one. This could work out. my birthday <laughs> Ooh, mega jackpot Oh my goodness. There's like five of them over here. Ah, oh, yes. Oh yeah. Awesome sauce. What is that? Ooh, the bird's nest. 
Looks like it fell from one of those taller trees. Well, that's gonna be tender. Hell yeah. I can save on some jute. I'll probably still use some, but that works. Uh, that's what they don't tell you. Even with a base camp, survival is still a lot of walking. A whole lot of, oh, there's my headlamp. <laughs> See if I can preserve these pecans. Always keep my headlamp close. Oh, yeah. oh. just got deep pockets. That's what she said. I don't even know if that'd be a joke. All right, well, flashlight aside, let's get rid of these. Yeah. No, well, I guess in my, I guess I have like rose-colored glasses on when I find them out in the, in the, by the creek. It's like, oh yay! That was like half my find. Blah. So I got my bird's nest and my jute. Go ahead, get that as the baseline. Ugh. Start working on filling this thing out. As long as that bird's nest catches, I'll get way more burn time than I would from a little fluffed up thing of jute. Super amp though. I got tinder and kindling all at one shot. Cannot be mad at that. Remember kids, fire likes buddies. Something I will say about this fire steel and the spine of this really crappy knife, it works. I cannot be pissed off at it. Ah, here we go. Sometimes all you gotta do is blow on it, and it works like a charm. I think today is going to be an early day. I'll get some food on my system here early. And I'll go back down to the water. Check the lines. See what's happening. But, worst case scenario, I can always get at it again tomorrow. No time like the present. All right, so here's the deal. Um, so a huge, I, every hour I check my watch, barometric compressor. We just had a huge drop in the past two hours, which means there is a very strong chance for rain when it's, when it's that drastic. So me, I'm hurrying because the clouds are getting dark and ominous and it's not sunset yet. So, 
if I want to eat today, I need to hurry because uh, it's not going to work very well. It starts raining on me. So let's see if I can outrun. The bad weather. I'm like, hurry! Trickle, 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 trickle. I got a raging fire going, so we're pretty good on that. All this water needs to do is boil. I can get in here. Even if I gotta be a weirdo and hunker down inside there, I'm okay. Now, I will tell you this though, you'll, you'll probably notice a difference in the audio because I went ahead and took uh, my camera lighting and my microphone and I went ahead and hid it away given the fact that it's not waterproof. So if that stuff fails, I do have camera equipment case so I can have camera equipment with me. Just so you know. Same thing I did when I was on my 30 day challenge. I gotta be able to film this thing. It's got batteries and solar panels and stuff. I don't like the solar panels are gonna do me any good today. So, all right, got that on the pot. Use my shovel to get it on. Oh, yeah, we got some coals. That'll work. Gotta get the main fire away. Woo! Pull the hot. I should boil that water quick, fast, in a hurry. Hey, that's close enough to a boil. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Woo! I'm ready. Bond it up just in case. Last thing I need is anyone, including myself, getting caught with their pants down. <laughs> Tinsels. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. Two thousand years later. All right, I hear sprinkles. I ain't playing that game. Not even bothering with a dang bowl thing tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all my stuff and stuff is good to go. I have a feeling it's gonna be an early night tonight, folks. I really wanna go back to the water and see if I got anything, but if something's actually, if the hooks actually set something really well, it might be there in the morning if it doesn't get eaten by a gar or something. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Go ahead and put this into my shelter old palace. Uh. All right, it's been a few minutes. Could be done. Ish. Mmm. That looks good. In a weird way, I feel like I almost owe you guys an apology because the fact that I didn't get a catfish yet or, you know, it's this today isn't as like epic as I'd like it to be. Because I guess it's more fun, but I guess survival is reality, but let's be real, it's YouTube. 
no one cares like oh, i don't want to watch this depressing crap <laughs> so i don't know i am gonna run over try to check the lines real quick see if there's anything biting that'd be awesome because i'll put it on smoke and do whatever i have to do to save that for tomorrow and eat that tomorrow and save the other half of this for later but yeah <sighs> just one of these days I wish nature would cooperate with me <laughs> well here's what it is I can only do so much well so I guess my my, my uh, question to you guys is after this out of this whole series so far up to this point from episode one to the build video all the way this being day three how has this changed your perspective on budget gear emergency type gear and the reality of actually spending time more than just a night in something like a tube tent shelter i'm, I'm curious to know you guys i want you guys to sound off down in the comments um honestly it's it is warmer if for real 100 percent warmer it is extremely uncomfortable. I think if you live in an area where you had things like pine and things like softer woods and you could do boughs and it was the land was a little less forgiving than places like South Texas, I think you'd be a lot more comfortable in something like that. And I would definitely suggest they make bigger tube tents too. So I would definitely say go after one of those. That little one is pretty much trash. That UST one, it's, it's so tiny. It's reflective and it's reflecting my body heat, but I want a bigger one. Like I totally want a bigger one and possibly a thicker one. I think it'd be awesome. But for my budget for a hundred bucks, I don't think I did too bad overall. There's a there's a few holes <laughs> in this kit, like a hundred percent, but I, I think it's doing giving me just enough to squeak on through. Uh through to the end of the seven days. But uh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then uh I don't know. I think I'm just gonna warm up by the fire for a second and just just go ahead and crash. Coming through here to check the lines, to see if anything has happened. Wow, oh, looks like bait strip though. Dang, I might have actually had something. Oh man. Of course. <sighs> it's caught too. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get the stuff packed away and we'll, we'll get at it again tomorrow. Dang it. Coulda, shoulda, woulda had a fish. I shoulda just took a nap up here, man. What the hell? Well, I'm in the shelter. Ready for sleep. I'm actually kind of tired though too. A little annoyed at the fishing situation, but but I'll relax and be a big boy and get over myself here in a minute. But uh, man, fires pretty much died down for the night. It's just coals, pretty relaxing. But uh, I think I'm just gonna crash now. <sighs> 